Hi guys, I wanted to make a video today for you to just talk about Crossbreed and the different products I have from there and how I wear them and what I like, um, what you guys might like, and then just kind of talk about what it's like to use the different products and how I wear them as a female. So let's start with my most used Crossbreed product, which is my appendix inside the waistband. I run a Glock 43, which most of you guys know. The appendix carry model um, holster is my favorite. I find it just so easy to conceal. It's so um, flush against your body. It minimizes printing. You do need a nice sturdy belt with the standard clips that come with it, but that's really easy to find. And I just really find that this is my go-to. I guess I've used this one enough where I know when I pull out a shirt out of my closet that it'll work for it. So um, most of the shirts in my closet tend to be flowy, printed, something like that to minimize printing if there is any. Um, and then just this guy is my favorite. Um, really comfortable. I forget I actually have it, which for appendix carry, that's kind of a weird thing to say, I guess. Um, we also have my mini tuck, which I wear mostly for IDPA when I run my Glock 43. I have found a couple outfits that this works for as far as carrying. It tends to be a boxier shirt, um, blouse kind of situation or something that's super printed um, that would work the easiest. Um, I, again, I love the combination of the leather and the kydex. I find it to be so comfortable. Like when this is on my hip, even after I wore it for an entire IDPA competition, which, you know, can start at 8 in the morning and end at like 3, 4, I still don't even get phased by it. It's so comfortable. It forms so well to your body, so it really helps minimize printing. Really nice hard kydex, so you have, you feel protected as far as the trigger is concerned, and um, it stays in there really well. It doesn't come out. Um, and if you have any issues with any of your crossbreed holsters, they have great customer service, and you just tell them what the issue is, and they will fix it up for you right away because they're just great. Um, the most recent addition to my crossbreed collection is the belly band. So the belly band, when completely undone, is very long. So it comes with the Kydex holster piece for your pistol, um, which I really love. Like I, That's my biggest complaint about belly bands is the trigger protection. I run a Glock, which as you guys know, has no external safety. So the safety... Um, component of having Kydex is very important to me. Um, there's a lot of different Velcros. It looks kind of complicated, but you go ahead and just, we'll just wrap it around while we're standing here. So, oh, turn this backwards. <laughs> so first you, if you could actually grab it, you just put it around your waist or wherever you want to wear it. Then you go ahead and attach the Kydex piece however you want to place it. We'll put it say right there, and then you use this extra um, as a thing means to lock the kydex into place. So there's more velcro over here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. So now I have the belly band on, it's nice and firm and snug. It's great. I love to wear this around the house. Um, I find that it's really easy and comfortable to wear with uh, just about anything. And so far, that's my favorite way to wear it, is just around the house. I, I you know go-to is always my pet nice carry but I could definitely make this work but I like wearing belts most of my pants are stretchy enough that I actually need the belt so wearing a holster at the same time is obviously very easy for me okay so like I said um another thing that they have is this panel for your bags I don't off body carry very often um I use this when I go to the gym because trying to conceal a weapon in your waistband and do abs at the same time is kind of very difficult um so again uh, don't mind my face. <laughs> they have the hard kydex piece. Piece it's adjustable, so you can put it in your bag. You can put it, you know, straight down. You can angle it so you can just reach and grab. You can do straight up and down if your bag is tighter and you need to just be able to go right in. There's so many options with it, and there's a couple different pieces that it comes with. Um, so that's really cool. So those are the crossbreed things I have and I use. Um, I'm gonna link in a couple photos of how I wear them as well, just so you guys can see what kind of outfits I wear with them. Um, obviously, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I wear my crossbreed more often than any other holster. So it is a very loved and used holster and it's been through the ringer and it has held up just fine. And I love 
the leather. It's great, especially in the summer. It definitely helps. Um, anything that wicks is great. Um, I'm not a big fan of Kydex on Kydex, so the really, the hybrid leathers with the Kydex is my ultimate favorite. I got really lucky in that this is the first holster I got for my 43, and it worked for me, and I loved it. So I'm obsessed with it. Um, we're kind of a crossbreed family. Nico also has crossbreeds, and that's what he runs. So if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Other than that, I hope this has given you some information that you like, or maybe you don't, whatever. We'll figure that out, but I just hope you guys all have a good day. All right, thank you. Bye.